To my fellow Filipinos, today we face the very grave threat of the novel coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19. I'd say six months ago that I was pretty much a typical teenager. I had this like anxiety and stress of like school. Stress uh, between school and extracurricular activities. No, mental health is not going Raising mental health awareness help us to determine the symptoms from ourselves or even to our loved ones. Anyone can be prone to loneliness, anxiety, and depression, especially in the midst of this pandemic. We want to advocate that mental health issues are not a joke that could fade away as time passed by because we need to solve it and seek help from the professionals. A simple act of listening and talking to a friend can help a struggling person. Let's be more conscious to the language we use when talking towards anyone and about mental health. At the height of the pandemic, where people are isolated from their own little world, mental health become one of the talking points domestically and nationally taken off of everyone's social life, boundless problems, and the big adjustments triggered the mental health of many negatively. According to Elia 2022, psychologists and psychiatrists have stated that the need for mental health support is dramatically increasing in the middle of the current health crisis, and that results from an increase in anxiety and depression and aggravating existing mental health conditions. A balance between positive and negative emotion is one of the many things that can help to improve our mental health. Staying positive does not preclude us from experiencing unpleasant feelings because it is part of living, but staying in that situation won't help us to improve ourselves mentally and physically. Taking care of our physical health includes being physically active, having enough sleep, and balanced diet because our physical and mental health are intertwined. Meditating to a peaceful place can be a big help to regain the energy that we need. Let them lead the topic about their current period because opening up would take a lot of courage and trust. Let's listen carefully on what they will talk about. Don't second-guess their feelings and thoughts, but instead, they assure them by agreeing and giving some advice. You are strong enough to face this, but it's okay to ask for help. It's okay if you need to see a therapist. It's okay to start again. It's okay to say no. It's okay to rest. It's okay to let go. And it's okay to do what's best for you. A lot of people around the world are going through the same exact ways, but they chose to fight. So come and fight with us. Don't let them bring you down. You are so much more than your disorder. One day, you will look back on this, and you will be so proud that you didn't give up. So keep on going. You got this.